Welcome to the Indian FTR 1200 visual owner's manual. This is the episode titled Gassing Up, and I'm going to walk you through how I put gas in the bike, which is not the best way, I'm sure. Everybody has their own little tips and techniques. This is just the way that I do it. Uh, it works pretty good for me. I've learned to develop some patience for it uh, and really kind of have to take the, uh, the, the fueling up process with a, a little bit of patience and, uh, you know, have a Zen moment. Uh, that Zen moment doesn't start right away because first you have to frustratingly bang at the odometer button to reset the trip meter uh, repeatedly and over and over, first with your finger, then with your thumb on one hand. And then, uh, as you can see, I'm still holding in the clutch, but uh, now I'm getting frustrated. So I'm going to put the bike in neutral and I'm going to try it with my other hand because I like to do this, you know, before I get off the bike so I don't forget. However, amongst the small number of frustrating things with this bike is the stupid odometer button. And it seems to only really work with my finger and not my gloves. So there, I finally managed to reset it. I'm going to turn off the bike and get around to putting the gas in it. You got to use the same key from the ignition in the gas cap, uh, put the bike on the side stand, and I always put my gloves on the back part of the seat, and then I'm going to use the key to get the gas cap out and put the gas cap on top of my gloves so that I don't lose it. Um, put the key in gently, turn the key counterclockwise. I usually have to wiggle the gas cap just a little bit, and then I take it out slowly in case gas has splashed up on it. And I want to dribble gas all over the place. Uh, do your thing at the pump, and uh, I always use the nozzle to push the button so that I don't have to touch it because, you know, people are disgusting. And then, you know, shake off the dribbles. You guys should understand how to do that because you don't want to dribble gas all over your bike. And normally I would do this from the other side of the pump so that I don't have to run the hose across my bike like this, but that didn't work out this time. So as you can see, I don't put the nozzle all the way down in the tank. The filler neck uh, is really, there's not a lot of space between the part of the tank that comes under the filler neck and the bottom of the filler neck. So if you jam the nozzle all the way down in there and then start, you know, squeeze real hard and get the gas flowing as fast as you can, it's going to splash back up at you. It's going to make a terrible mess. You're going to get gas all over your paint and your seat and your hands. Uh, if you're leaning over, you might even get it in your face, which would be awkward and embarrassing. What I do is I just squeeze it just a little bit so that the gas comes out at a fairly slow rate. I don't want it coming out really fast. When it gets to the bottom of the filler neck, as you can see, I just stood the bike up. I lean my lean my thigh into the bike. I stand the bike up and then I'm going to dribble it slowly until it basically starts to fill up in the filler neck. You can see it there and then let off the pump and let it drain down then keep doing it over and over and over. Now, I, I know I'm getting ready to go ride, so I will fill it up into the filler neck, which the owner's manual says you should not do, but I know I'm getting ready to use at least a gallon of gas in a, sh a short ride, 40 or 50 miles, uh, which is probably about a gallon and a half. Uh, when you're done, give it a little shake to kind of get the air bubbles out and uh, carefully take the nozzle out, put it back in the machine, and you're all done. So you have to have a little bit of patience and it doesn't really take, you can see I put about 2.4 gallons in there and it probably took total, the whole process probably took five minutes if I wasn't uh, farting around with the machine or, you know, talking to somebody or checking my text messages or whatever. You put the gas cap back in, key back in the ignition and you're all done. So... Uh, that's just my process. There are a lot of other ways that uh, people have done this, but I found that if you just uh, be a little bit patient, then uh, it's really not that miserable of a process. And here I'm going to jiggle with the camera just a little bit. And uh, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Be patient. Have a little Zen moment when you're filling up your gas and everything's going to be okay. Get your gloves back on. Settle yourself. Settle your mind. Center yourself and start your bike back up and get on with your ride. It's just that simple. It doesn't have to be a mind numbing process and it doesn't have to be frustrating either. You just have to take your time, slow yourself down a little bit and you'll have very few problems filling up your gas tank on your FTR 1200S. 
thanks for watching. I want to encourage everybody to check out the other videos here, the visual owner man owner's manual videos. And uh, yeah, see that button, the OK button works just fine. And uh, check out my podcast. It's called Chasing the Horizon. It's about the motorcycle industry at large. Oh, look, a young couple. Love in the age of pandemic. Isn't that sweet? Uh, and then get back on the road. Get out there. Burn some gas. Have some fun. Talk to you soon.